In this lecture, I will demonstrate how to control the camera angles before you export your composition. So click Composition, New Composition, and then I'll just name this as Control Camera View. Then I'm going to choose a very small screen size. So I'll just enter 720 pixels and let's limit the video to 5 seconds background color is white and then click advance and then by default this is classic 3d but we will choose ray trace 3d so that we can convert two dimensional shapes into three dimensional shapes by extruding them so click ok okay so this is our canvas so for now i'm going to draw a square so i'll change the color of this square to something more friendly to the eyes and then I'm going to draw a star here and change its color so what you're seeing right now are two dimensional shapes I'll just name this as control camera angle when I click the 3d layer this will allow me to add another feature here so right now I can only transform the shape using these options but when I click this 3D layer, notice that there are already new options and they are geometry options and material options. Notice that I now have an option for extrusion or I can modify the extrusion depth. But when I do that, you cannot actually see it. So I'm going to change the view here to two views. So this view here is the top view of the canvas and apparently this view is the front view. Now if I try to zoom in here, notice that you cannot see these shapes because they are actually 2D. Now once I try to extrude one of them, for example this star shape, and I'll try to drag this extrusion depth, I'll try to increase it, notice that you can actually see that this star shape becomes 3D. The same goes for rectangle. So if I'm going to click the 3D layer, I'll have geometry options and then try to extrude this also. Let us display the camera by clicking layer, new, then camera layer. So once you open the camera settings, I'll just name this as camera 01. And for beginners, it is best to choose two node camera, which I will explain later. I'll just change this to 40 millimeters and leave everything as default. Click OK. And there you go. So if I try to zoom here at our camera, notice that I can drag these arrows, the X, Y arrows. If I try to drag this, look at my front view. So I'm able to set the angle of the camera. So if you want to put this shape at the center, so I have to look at the Z axis of this camera. I'm going to choose front. I'm going to drag this down and then zoom in. I'm going to drag this arrow so that I'll change the view here. So notice that when I'm dragging this arrow, green arrow up, I'm able to place our shapes at the center of the frame. Then after that, I'm going to change back to top view. And then I'll begin saving the camera angles before I export this video. So I'm going to drag this camera at this angle and then lock its position so here's the position i'm going to click this so i'm able to lock it at time equal zero then at the end time of this composition i'm going to change the position of the camera angle ah sorry i was able to drag the red arrow i'm supposed to drag the camera itself let me use the pan yeah and then zoom to the camera that's it so i'm going to click this camera and then transfer it on the other side and once i'm finished dragging the camera angle to the other side notice that after effects automatically save that position so when i go back to time zero I'm returning to its original position because I lock its position at time equal zero and once I export this composition, the positioning of the camera is being followed based on your locked keyframes. So I'm going to select all and then composition, add to render queue. 
I'll just edit the render settings. I'm going to lower its quality because this is just a demonstration. So click output module, click lossless, and then I'm just going to edit the settings in such a way that a video output will have a very small file size. Now format options, click video codec, and then H264. So quality, I'll just change this to 50% because I just want to have video output with a small file size. Let's try to render it. Okay. And then render. Okay, before I play the rendered video output, let me emphasize that since we have chosen camera with two nodes and this node is locked in on our canvas, it is easy to drag our camera while our camera is focused on our canvas. So without this other node here, if you try to drag the camera in other position and this node here is not locked then it's harder to control or manipulate the camera angles because we don't have a node here that is fixed on our canvas so let's play our output when i play the video it looks like the camera is getting closer at this part but actually i've just chosen a camera setting that results to such effect So again, if you want to change some settings, you could just delete this camera and choose a new or just change its camera settings here. And notice that my video behaves that way because I changed the focal length to 40 millimeters. But you could actually play around with this until you are able to obtain your desired camera movement and effects and angles and so on. 